Hey there crypto fans, you're watching Altcoin Radar, which is a place where we can all learn about the many different cryptocurrencies and altcoins together. So, if that's something that you're interested in, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new videos on a weekly basis. Now, I know that this style of video might be kind of boring, but, I mean, if we want to learn, then we gotta do some research. So, today, we're gonna learn all about Polkadot Coin and the project behind the name. So. Let's dive in and take a peek at what Polkadot is all about. All right, so we're going to dive in here right to this blog post that I found, and we are going to literally read it and figure out what, what's going on here because uh, I've been seeing a lot of talk about Polkadot lately, and I, 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 I kind of want to learn, learn, you know, learn about it. So let's see what we got here. What is a Polkadot token? The Polkadot token is a native token for the network. Polkadot, on the other hand, is a blockchain protocol that intends to incentivize a global network of computers to operate a blockchain on top of which users can launch and operate their blockchains. Currently, there are close to 900 million of DOT circulating supply, while the maximum supply of the Polkadot coin is not predetermined. These tokens are mainly to strengthen the bonds in the network, staking and activating Polkadot's governance and upgrades. So, so far what I'm getting out of this coin is, it seems to me that Polkadot is a platform for, I don't know, um, it's, it seems kind of like it's a, it's, it's a platform for other companies or other, other, other people to build their own token on top of. So that, I don't know, that's kind of what I'm getting on top of it so far. Uh, but let's keep reading and see, see what this is. What's unique about the Polkadot blockchain? By design, Polkadot operates two types of blockchains, the main network, relay chain, and user-created networks, parachains. The difference between these is that transactions are permanent on the relay, on the relay chain. In contrast, the parachains can be customized for any number of uses and feed them into the main blockchain. The unique design of Polkadot allows transactions to be kept secure and use and accurate using the only computing resources required to run the main chain. At the same time, there are added benefits of users being able to customize many parachains for many different uses. We've got here's an overview of the Polkadot structure and component and its components. We got bridges. It's the facilitators among the parachains, parathreads, and other blockchains. The parachains, they are independent chains that are capable of forming their tokens. And the parathread, featuring a flexible model that leverages on the independent chains to form new tokens. And then the relay chain, to facilitate the consensus among different chains. Overall, the Polkadot blockchain lets users perform transactions more privately and efficiently. That is because the, the blockchains they create don't disclose user data to the public network. They process a more significant number of transactions, which could theoretic, theoret, theoretically be more than a million transactions per second. So who founded Polkadot? Polkadot was developed by Parity Technologies in 2017 and launched in 2018. Who co-founded by who was co-founded by Dr. Gavin Wood and Judda Steiner, both both are former Ethereum executives. And as we all know, Ethereum's pretty large. It's you know like the number two cryptocurrency today. So that's pretty big. That's a pretty big deal. The project overall is backed by the Web3 Foundation, which provides funding, advocacy, research, and collaborations. After its inception in 2015, Parity moved away from focusing on developing node software for Ethereum, called Parity Ethereum Client, to Polkadot and a related project, Substrate. In 2018, the company launched two proofs of concept and deployed Polkadot's first parachain in July 2018. And in 2019, the, sub the network launched the Kusama network. Subsequently, Polkadot was launched in a, a beta state in May 2020, then enabling the tokens transfer in August 2020. Man, I, <laughs> I cannot wait to learn more about this stuff because this all sounds great and I'd really like to really like to learn more about this stuff and kind of get my hands dirty and all this. So this is kind of fun. 
Anyway, the, the origins of Polkadot coins. It was first released during Polkadot's ICO in 2017, when the project raised close to $140 million. The company then held two private sales in 2019 and 2020 and raised an additional $100 million. The parachains can mint native tokens and transfer tokens and use those to settle transactions, though the main Polkadot crypto is the DOT token. However, a weakness in Parity's Ethereum wallet has led to, the, to a hack that cost about two-thirds of the original ICO tokens frozen. And to this day, the frozen tokens have not been yet recovered. Surprisingly though, the team behind Polkadot re decided to move forward with the project despite the losses. And in August 2020, Polkadot has started allowing investors to trade the remaining tokens. As a result, DOT, which is uh, which is Polkadot's uh, you know main. Uh, if, if you've ever you know if you're into trading or anything like that, then you'll see that DOT is the um, uh, like it's like the abbreviation for Polkadot. So. That's what I mean when I say DOT. Anyway, DOT is the listing on many major exchanges, including Binance, Huobi, Kraken, and more. Subsequently, the coin's market cap has skyrocketed due to high trading volumes. And currently, the Polkadot coin is in the top current cryptocurrencies. Ranking, it used to rank at number seven, but now it's, I mean, let's see where it's at right now. Um, Polkadot's currently number four, so that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. So we're at cur currently number four, with a market cap of over, uh, what is the current market cap? Of over 14, almost 15 million. Wow, that's pretty much double of what, uh, what was, what was said in, when this was written. An interesting and somewhat unusual fact about the DOT token is that it was re re-denominated by a factor of 100 times shortly after trading began. That means that the total number of Polkadot coins was multiplied by 100, therefore taking it from 10 million to 1 billion. And as a result, every DOT holder will obtain 100 tokens, 100 coins for each previously held coin. The market cap was not affected by this since the newer coins are worth about 1 one hundredth of the old coins, making tokens amounts more readable. So. How does the polka dot, how does polka dot staking works? Well, when you think what is the polka dot coin, it's essential to understand its purpose and functions. The DOT cryptocurrency plays a crucial role in maintaining and operating the polka dot blockchain. Users own a stake DOT gain. Users own and stake DOT gains gain the ability to vote on a net, on network upgrades. Each vote is proportional to the amount of DOT cryptocurrency a user has staked. As of 2020, staking DOT yields around 10% to 15% annually on Kraken, Bitfinex, and more. To incentivize staking, Polkadot rewards users with newly minted DOT based on how many tokens they have staked. The Polkadot blockchain has four major consensus roles, and they all receive rewards. They are validators, which are those who secure the relay chain by staking dots and validating proofs from collators. And then there are nominators. They secure the chain by shortlisting a list of validators and staking dots that are trustworthy for the task. And then there's collectors, mostly maintaining the shards. They collect shards transactions from users and then pr produce proofs for validators to, to validate the transaction. And then there are fishermen. The they monitor the network's behavior and to report suspicious activities to, to the validators. So, staking is one of the three main uses for the DOT token apart from basic financial transactions for governance and bonding. The parachains within the Polkadot network be public blockchains, private blockchains, or other sources of data. The data in the parachains is accessed via specialized nodes and sent to Polkadot. Similar to how decentralized oracles work, parachains are a activated by staking DOT tokens and removed from Polkadot by unstaking these tokens. So, is staking Polkadot a good investment? Well, typically the average staking profits for DOT is around 10-15% to 15 annually. 
However, the yields are subjected to the stake pool performance. The network's changes the staked amounts, demands, and the overall supply. On the contrary though, DOT staking is less complex than crypto mining. This means that they're more, it's more beginner friendly and its yields are less dependent on your input. Ultimately, whether staking Polkadot coin is a good investment or not, it depends on how much profit you intend to make and how much you're willing to stake. So, on to a big question. Is Polkadot better than Bitcoin and Ethereum? Well, Polkadot is often dubbed as an Ethereum killer. Although it does not intentionally set out to rival Ethereum, it is easy to see why many consider that the Polkadot blockchain as an improvement to Ethereum's existing infrastructure, even after the infamous Ethereum 2.0 upgrade. That's because both Ethereum and Polkadot uses sharing to circumvent the scalability and transactional issues, but it is rather difficult to compare with Bitcoin as the Polkadot and Bitcoin blockchains project very different designs, functionality, and purpose. Many experts see cross-chain networks as crucial in the development and of, of DeFi and decentralized applications. And in this sense, Polkadot's structure consisting of relay chain and a limitless number of parachains is superior to Bitcoin's relatively rigid model of a proof-to-work consensus and unwavering decentralization. Another difference stems from the way that both networks compensate users for incentivizing participation and adoption. Traditionally, Bitcoin has always rewarded miners despite the increasing difficulty of the computational tasks. In fact, in recent years, Bitcoin mining has been monopolized by large industrial-scale mining operations of companies or ultra-wealthy individuals who can afford the machinery, utility bills, and the bandwidth. However, since Polkadot is decentralized, there are validators where users can stake Polkadot coins and be tasked to fill different roles. Depending on the amount of DOT tokens staked, users receive more DOT tokens as a reward and can also influence the project's development. In contrast, it does not apply to Bitcoin holders. So, So far, what I'm getting out of this is I'm honestly having a hard time understanding exactly what Polkadot is all about. (laughs) In all honesty, I'm going to be honest here. Um, But the the big part of it it is is I'm seeing Polkadot coin has a very good, um, uh, it's a very good investment opportunity. And you can earn quite, I mean, depending on how much money you're going to put into it, you're going to earn quite a bit. If you you know if you're staking it for the long term, um, I mean as everybody knows, you know earning 10 to 15 percent annually is I mean, I mean there's people that don't even make 10 to 15 percent annually in the stock market. So to earn that in one cryptocurrency is that that's that's a pretty good return. So now let's get on to now now let's talk about the uh, the the. The prices of of uh, Polkadot Coin and the past prices of how it's been in the past and see where it's at. So Polkadot Coin reaches its all time high at three hundred sixty eight dollars and five cents in August of twenty twenty, shortly after the project was initiated. However, the DOT's price suffered a drastic drop due to its lower price at two dollars and sixty nine cents late August. Since then, the DOT's price has hovered around three to eight dollars on an average throughout the year, though Polkadot attempts to resume the uptrend on January 7, 2021, which later broke the average trading price at $10.63. However, the bears start the bears start a correction, but DOT bounced off at $8.78 a week later. So as you can tell, I mean, Polkadot coin, it's I mean, it's done pretty well. I mean, currently it's trading at $16.46, um which I mean, that's 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 quite a bit um, overall. Uh, let's see here. Polka dot is which one's polka dot on here? Um, polka dot is the green. It's the it's the price is the green one. So the green line. So as you can tell, I mean, back in August it was all the way down to you know two dollars, four dollars, five dollars, whatever. Then it's been at you know steady for a while. 
and then all of a sudden lately you know in the past in the past recent you know the most recent bull run it's gone all the way up to 16 17 dollars so that's that's a pretty good return on your investment overall um now i don't know if i don't know if uh i'd like to get a lot more out of this but we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up i mean this is this is the first this is my first video for this channel so i guess we will see how the next ones go so anyway all right crypto fans so now that we've got a pretty good idea i mean for what it is um you'll probably have a lot more questions because uh it was hard for me to even understand i mean this channel is all about all of us trying to learn this stuff so even i'm trying to learn so i'm trying to figure it out but now that we've got a pretty decent idea of how what polka dot is all about let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions about the project because i'd be curious to hear your thoughts and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to learn more about some more of these projects then feel free to check out the altcoin education playlist that i'm going to link in the pinned comment section below this video and with that said guys thanks for watching and learning with me